Right, I'm just um, I've got about an hour to fish if that. Uh, the beauty of low fishing um, is that you can just get out on it. And it only takes you an hour, uh, and you can catch a, a personal best, or even just have a bit of fun. Um, that's the beauty of low fishing. So I'm just going to try this spot. I've not fished it before. Um, looks a good feature. So, but I'll, I'll tell you a bit more of how, how, how I would tackle it. Well, first of all, I've brought both setups or two setups. I brought my ultralight setup, which if you notice is virtually made up apart from putting together. Got the ultralight setup. I'll see what I see if there's anything here, perch, chub, trout, bike, anything. I'm not have to shout but um and I'm my heavy setup just in case. Uh, I'm not walking too far so I've, I've brought more than I would do normally. The idea of your of your lows is to is to travel light, travel light, cover cover the water, find the fish. And don't get in a tangle like me. So don't be setting your rod up on bank. You want to be all ready to go. So straight away there, all I need to do is add a low and I'm fishing. So keep your low, keep your low rod set up. So storage is a good thing. Get it stored somewhere good, so you can just get it straight out. Uh, quick check of everything. Trace is Trace is in good nick, braid looks alright, clutch is set. So what I would use now uh, is my, my lures that are no catch, simple spinner, simple soft shad, um, simple little plug, little rapala crank or something like that, don't know how deep it is, must be shallow out there, but you can see there's a, there's a shallow bit of fast water and it, and it comes round here into a, obviously a deeper stretch. So that corner there, there's a bit of bush there, get some, get some shads underneath there spinners through that fast water and up along edges. If there's anything silverfish will be a feeding, predators should be far it shouldn't be too far about so you never know. So that's what I do. Uh, I've got my heavy rod all ready to go. Uh, once I've once I've fished through with swim um, I'll get my bigger lows out and just have a go. Just a few casts. If there's a big predator here it'll take it or well, if there's a predator here it'll take it a big a pike. So a few casts and move on. There's another little bit further down a bit of fast water so I'll try that. Um, yeah, so wish me luck. Right, so um, I ended half a dozen casts with a, a capito. Um, that did work, but it told me how deep it was. Not that deep, three or four foot deep. So in here somewhere. Got a little, little mark out an alphabet crank. Uh, it's only a shallow though. So. Um, I can cover this swim and the good thing about this row, this low has got a bit of rattle. So I've got some wiggle, it'll make some get some attention. So hopefully something that's in the swim will hear that. And because I haven't got long, I ain't got time to mess about, so basically I'm trying to get rid of attention. See how that goes. Same thing, checking out all this all the all the fast water. And, um, try to remember where you've cast, covered all the water.
that's what comes around there. We've got a bit of a pool and the current, yeah, we bring it past this tree here, that bush, which obviously is a good place to target. Now I can I can try and use the water, because it's, because it's low flows, I can use the water to help me to get the, the load under that tree and along it. So try and use the current, try and cast upstream and let it go through. Or you can stand up that up further, further upstream, cast past it and bring it through. So don't think you've just got to stand here. Yeah. The banks are a bit a bit muddy and slippy so I'll just have to do it from here at the moment. Standing in different places helps you cover all the water and cover the if I keep casting from the same place I'm just gonna keep it in the same same bit all the time. So. So I know I've covered most of that, so now I want to get into that, that flat, that flat pool the other side and pull it back this way. The back of that kiddo, there's a bit, of, a bit of still water there. If you manage to cast it into there, it's a good cast. Don't be in too much of a rush to get it out of that. Um, later on this time of year, it's like late, or, late autumn, early winter. Fish are a little bit, little bit a little bit more lethargic and not as ready to chase everything. So like casting it into there and having a, a load that floats, you've got, a, you've got a few seconds where you can just give it a quick tug and just fix, but not pull it out of the of the slack water. Quick tug to get their attention and leave it, another quick tug, but trying not to move it too far. Uh, and sometimes I can come and take it straight away. If you cast it out and just pull it straight out, it's kind of, um, oh, can't be asked. So just try and keep it in there first. Couple of taps now. Still in, it's still in that slack water. So if anything just laying up there, it'll smack it. Well, it looks a good spot, but I've not actually, not actually seen anything. Try a soft low and a crank. Pretty confident nothing's going to take. I'm going to have a last couple of casts with a, with a small spinner. And if nothing, then I'm going to I'm going to move them. Right, but I go with the, um, the light load. Nothing. So see if there's no fish feeding, no fish here. Oh, the big monster pike in between. So I'm going to try it with a, with a low. Use a low that I know works. That one, absolutely battered. Savage gear, rainbow lip low. I know it works, I also know that it's pretty shallow. So I know if a few chunks will be swimming, if there's anything there, a pike will come and take it. Sends off uh, a lot of flash, a lot of rattle, a lot of vibration. So just a few casts, don't spend too long. I haven't got long and I want to try another swim so. Trying to move swims. Right, I've just walked um, 20 yards or so down the bank. Uh, I've learnt all sorts. Um, there's a bit of a footpath worn down. So could be dog walkers, but a bit low down the bank for that. So plenty of footprints, a bit of fishing line, sweet corn tin. Uh, I think some just fishing. Then I get to a point where it's just full of beer cans, rubbish. So not only are people fishing, it's idiots fishing. So not good, but what a good thing is if um, if they're fishing, uh, they're not always the best fishermen. 
and the, but they're coming to catch fish so there's something here yeah, so it gives me a clue that there's a good chance of fishing however uh, it's not something I'll probably come back to if I know that there's idiots fishing so I'm going to give it another go and try the uh, same, same tactic just a couple of small lures see if I can find anything this one again you can see with a big bit of fast water again just trying to say, in summer you expect these places to be teeming with fish um, perch especially but chub um, and that in turn tracks pike I would expect most of the fish to have moved off into deeper water at the moment but still going to give it a go Deep pool over there, I don't know if you can reach it. And cast down the inside margin, often there's something laying on the edge of there, especially pike, but I've seen chub, perch, trout, all like to, and about in the margins, even though it might only be a foot deep. And it's got hit by a rock. I not have much luck. Uh, I'm running out of the uh, bank, it's really slippy, really muddy. I'm just slipping all over, so there's just one last, last little, little pool here I can try. And you never know. I'll map something in it if I'm lucky. Not a monster, hey, up and down. Not a monster. Not a monster, but it's hard, isn't it? It's been about an hour trying different swims. Or three, three, three swims. Uh, four, four pike lows, one pike low. I've just, just switched. Just switched to a Pike low, rainbow lit low. And I've caught my first fish. Just in a bit of a tangle, one second. I was all set for a blank. And I catch. Oop. Oop. I catch that perch. On that low. How ridiculous is that? Just shows you what they like sometimes, perch. Nearly as big as it. But yeah, that what I'd earned. 
I thought I was going to be saying to you, another blank. There you go. Nice perch. I've got to release it over here because it's a bit, bit, a bit awkward there. Right. Got some perch in there. I'm going to have one last go. Take the shallow alphabet off. Out. And because I know there's some perch in there, I'm going to have one last effort on ultralight again. Um, I'm trying a little repile that I like. It's a bit deeper than the alphabet that I tried. Um, really bright. It's also a little bit suspending so I can, I can hold it in this little pool. There's a small pool after some fast water. It's quite deep but it's quite snaggy as well. So this load will just sort of just suspend, I can get a lot of noise and vibration and colour and I'll see it. That one obviously saw the, the, the fourth player, they came out and saw the fourth player struggling. So hopefully I can do the same with this. Without falling. Okay, well that's me done. I'm going to have an hour, just want to have a look at somewhere new. Um, been a bit of a struggle, so you can see, but not always. I don't always go out and catch loads of fish. It's, it's not always as easy as videos look. Uh, videos are edited to make it look easy. Um, a lot of hard work goes into it. Uh, and what I do is, like today, um, I'm picking my daughter up. I've, I've got about an hour to go fishing. So rather than just sit about, uh, I've gone fishing. Tried a new spot. Uh, tried three pegs. Each one will have fishing at some point. Um, and it's been really hard work and I've got one fish, one perch, and it's a, a hard earned fish. Um, but one day you'll come back here again and you'll uh, you'll bag up. So I know that I've got another spot to come to now. Uh, and that's it, you just gotta get out and give it a go. Do your own work. Um, try your lows, don't don't complicate it. I've used five lows in total. I've used uh, to me, my white computer shizer because I know it catches. I use my alphabet crank from Mark Outland because I know it catches. My shower. Um, I use a spinner because I know it catches. I use a repeller, fire tiger because I know it works. And then for pike, I didn't mess about one low. Uh, Savage Gear 4 play lip low, 19 centimetre uh, because I know it works. So, no fancy techniques, no, no testing new lows because then you're always thinking is it the technique, is it the low? Just simple, what, what I use everywhere else and it works, so yeah. that's it, that's all you need to do. But you need to get out and just find some, some venues, because like I say, one day you'll come here and you'll have, a, you'll have an awesome day.